He's in a place of life like he was as he wrote to Ephesus, I am in chains, but here's my prayer, not get me out of the hardship, God, but use the hardship to proclaim the story of Jesus to more and more people in this world. He said again in Philippians chapter three, all the things I had before Jesus, that's just all rubbish now compared to knowing Jesus. Have you met him like that? Have you ever seen him like that? Have you ever glimpsed him like that? Where you could say everything I thought was good before and some of it actually in earthly terms may be good, but it all pales in comparison to what I'm seeing and what I know about you. He actually said, it's like dung. It's like manure. It's a, it's a garbage heap compared to knowing you. What I've come to see in you and the calling that I have to serve you, that is eclipses all earthly gain and it eclipses all earthly pain. Life may be hard, but God is good. And I think there was something else going on in Paul. And I think it was this. I think Paul understood that what looks ordinary through our lens could be eternally extraordinary in God's sovereign hands. He's just writing a letter. I love you. Be careful, keep your head, stay strong, share the gospel, fulfill your calling, stay rooted in scripture, follow my teaching, follow my example, come if you can. He's just writing a letter. He's just pinning a letter from a hole in the ground in a prison in the heart of Rome. He's just writing to his young son in the faith, but he doesn't know fully, Paul, that the Holy Spirit of Almighty God is turning his letter into these God-breathed words that he talks about in chapter three. He doesn't know that this seemingly ordinary letter is gonna be in the pages of Holy Scripture. He doesn't know that he's encouraging his son in the faith, that he's encouraging me today and encouraging you today. And we don't either. We know that we see through a glass dimly and we know somehow that this light and momentary affliction God uses for an eternal weight of glory that far outweighs them all. Therefore, he said, we look at the things not that are seen, but the things that are unseen because the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are unseen are eternal. He says, don't lose heart. In your hardship, it may look ordinary. In your hardship, it may look like it's unseen. In your hardship, it may look upside down. In your hardship, you may see no purpose, but that's our lens in God's hands. It can be used to change things eternally in an extraordinary way. You may be pinning the very words, speaking the very words, showing the very faithful example that God God is going to use, not just in this generation, but in the next generation, in a hundred generations, in a thousand generations to come. You're woven in to the story of a sovereign God.